Shim Angel 41. Ha ha hell. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is Tallison McKnight. And today we've reached Shim Angel 41. Ha ha hell. This angel is the first of the virtues. Um, because all 72 angels of the Shem Ha Meferesh, the 72 Shem angels, um, are divided amongst the nine traditional choirs of angels. So the first eight Shem angels, beginning with Vehuya, are among the Seraphim. The next eight are of the Cherubim. The next are the Thrones, etc. Um, this Shem Angel is the first one that is among the virtues, or the authorities. Virtues are angels said to have immense power over the cosmos. ha ha hell. Um, the Hebrew letters are He, 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 Aleph Lamed. So, the letter He repeats three times. This angel is associated with spirituality, the divine, our higher spiritual aspiration towards the divine or towards our own uh, higher self or spiritual yearning towards higher things, governs religion and spirituality, and also is a shim angel, many believe, that can be used against slanderers, people that talk about you behind your back, people that slander your name, drag it through the mud. So this is also often seen as a shim angel against slander. So ha ha hell. Now, a word of warning. I know that people People watch these videos and people, in fact, work with Shem angels from a variety of religious and non-religious backgrounds. I know a ton of people that work with Shem angels um, that are not Christian or Jewish, that are pagan from different traditions, whatever, and it doesn't seem to impede their work in any way. However, a word of warning, this Shem angel, the description we get um, is very Christian in the science of the Kabbalah, La Science Kabbalistique by Lazar Lenain, and the divine attribute um, refers to the Trinity from Athanasius Kircher's Oedipus Egyptiacus. So, this might make some people uncomfortable, um, but this Shem angel has some very Christian connotations. Um, in the divine attribute, and then in the office given by Lazar Lenain. So, just fair warning. In these videos, I look at the material as it's passed through the centuries, and my task is simply to show what the, the classical and what the sources say over the, the centuries with these angels. I try not to put any kind of value judgment. But notice that the angel name is three He's. He, 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 Aleph, Lamed. Ha, Ha, Hel. So the three H's. It's interesting because in Athanasius Kircher's Oedipus Egyptiacus, the divine attribute is God three and one. So God three and one. The Latin says Deus Triunus or the triune God. So that's interesting. And you see three letter He's. And also the letter He is the letter, it's like the letter H, it is the breath. You could think of it that way, the, the breath or the spirit. So whatever people think about that, that is interesting. The divine attribute, God three and one. The Psalm verse. Across the tradition, the psalm verse in the Masoretic text is Psalm 120, verse 2, and the Latin Vulgate, that's Psalm 119, in the Vulgate, that's Psalm uh, 119, verse 2. But using the Masoretic text, Psalm 120, verse 2, 
Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from de the deceitful tongue. So clearly you can see from the psalm verse associated with this angel that it can deliver us from uh, slander, people talking bad about us behind our back, people spreading rumors and gossip. So this angel can be worked with against slander. And again, you see it in the psalm verse, Psalm 120, verse 2. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Especially if people are lying about you. It fits right in there with the psalm verse. Now, um, the divine cabal says this about the angel. Hahachel governs from October the 13th through the 17th inclusively. So it governs October 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So those, those days inclusively, October 13th through 17th inclusively. The verse from whence is derived his name is the second verse of Psalm 119. It's using the Vulgate numbering. O Lord, deliver my soul from the malicious lips and from a deceitful tongue. Pretty much just the same thing, a repetition of above. And I did warn people, <laughs> the office of Lazar Lenane, usually it's not just so blatantly Christian, but here it really is. Um, like I said, I try not to make any value judgment or push any kind of dogma in these videos, but it's what the text says. So let's take a look. I have my own translation, but we'll use this, the Pierce Vaughn, the science of the Kabbalah. If you go to page 78, and uh, I'll provide a monetized link, I do get a small commission if people buy any of the books using my link, um, which helps monetize my content. I have a link in the description. Also, I have a link to my Patreon up there. So, ha ha hell. This is what it says. Um, all right. It gives the same psalm verse. It says, he serves against enemies of religion, the impious, and slanderers. Um, this genius rules over Christianity. He protects missionaries and all the disciples of Christ, who announce the words of the scripture to the nations. He influences pious souls, prelates, ecclesiastics, and all those related to the priesthood. The person born under this influence distinguishes himself by greatness of soul and his energy. He is completely devoted to the service of God and does not fear martyrdom for Christ. So, how do we put this all together? And I, I really, I don't think it matters what your religious background is. I know many people that work with the Shem Angels that are pagan and everything else. I try not to push any dogma. That's just a description. How do we work with this Shem angel? First of all, the divine, the office of the angel. I almost said divine office. That was a Freudian slip, like the Liturgy of the Hours. Anyways, so what about, uh, what is this angel, what could you work with this angel for? First of all, against slander. Someone's talking bad about you behind your back. Someone's bad-mouthing you. Someone's spreading lies, gossip, and rumors. You can work with this angel. Especially if it's not true. It's right there in the psalm verse. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips and from the deceitful tongue. Also, this shim angel can be worked with to elevate your spirituality. Okay, just in general. Bringing us closer to the divine to elevate our spiritual path, to reach a higher level spiritually. And this angel could be worked with for any kind of like higher divine purpose or understanding the divine mysteries, I would say divine contemplation. So anything that lifts you up spiritually and against slanderers. So whatever your whatever kind of spiritual elevation, um, if you're let's say you feel like you're having a blockage on your spiritual path, let's say you're feeling blocked or you're not making progress, you don't know where to go in, in all of this, 
this Hahachel is a perfect angel to work with. Like, how do I move forward in my spiritual quest? How do I progress in my spirituality? Or to ask the angel to help you to elevate spiritually. Um, or if you're doing any kind of magic with any kind uh, of anything related to some kind of a religious leader or, or spiritual leader, anything to do with elevation or anything to do with a holy person, any kind of holy man or woman, a holy person, someone that's pious or on that quest. And then again, slander, like I said. So that is ha ha hell. Again, it's hey, 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 Aleph Lamed, ha ha hell. Um, this angel governs 20 to 25 degrees of Libra. Now, in some respects, you have to be careful um, with this book because he deviates a little bit <clears throat> um, from the tradition. Agrippa tells us that the Shem angels govern the five quinries of the, Zo uh, the, the 72 quinries of the Zodiac. Um, and yet in this book, it tries to put it down in days of the human calendar, which only adds to 360, so he tacks on five days for the, the, the elements. Um, but it's a useful text. Actually, I'm going to make a video here pretty soon going over some of the, the basics of the Shem Angels and looking at it in the classical tradition, and we're going to be going back to the sources. So we're going to be doing that pretty soon. This is actually Patreon video day. So, um, but I want the Shem Angel videos to be available to everybody. Um, I may do uh, another video later on. We'll see how it goes. Play it by ear. Um, I work with the Shem Angels because I'm following the sun through the zodiac, the tropical zodiac. I use the planetary hour of the sun. I mentioned Planetary Times, very easy Planetary Hours app. You can download on your phone Planetary Times. It's got like a seven-pointed star on it. I think it's like blue or purple icon. It's got a seven-pointed star on it. Planetary Times, very simple Planetary Hours app. It'll announce when it switches Planetary Hour. So I use the Planetary Hour of the sun. If you're not following the sun through the zodiac especially, you can use the planetary hour of Mercury. According to the Key of Solomon, uh, planet, the hours of Mercury could be used just in general to communicate with any kind of spirit. And Lazar Lenain, he totally invents this in the 19th century, but many people find it useful. It's found in this text. He invents a lot of this. Um... I'm just, you know, it really depends on you and your spiritual path and what clicks and resonates with you, honestly. But I I use this for the offices. It's excellent. But I, I try to stick to the classical materials apart from that. But um, so you don't have to use special timing. But Lazar Lenain, he admits that he invents these tables. Um... But in his Kabbalistic tables, this angel, he has like a 20-minute cycle that many people find useful. This Shem angel governs 1.20 p.m. to 1.40 p.m. With daylight savings time going on right now, that would be 2.20 p.m. to 2.40 p.m. So, whether you use the, the hour of the sun, like I'm using, very simple. I'm following the sun through the, the tropical zodiac. I, I At the hour of the sun, any of these five days, I work with a Shem angel. Some people don't use any kind of timing. And some people like to use Lazar Lenain's 20-minute cycle, like I just mentioned, um, as a way where you can work with any angel at any time, you know, following this. And some people don't use any timing. But that is basically it. Shem angel 41 Ha ha hell. It's uh, uh, the first of the virtues, the divine attribute, God three and one, Deus Triunus. The psalm verse is Psalm 120, verse two, deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips from and from a deceitful tongue. Again, the office that it gives is very Christian in this book. Um, 
basically he he rules Christianity, he protects missionaries and followers of Christ who proclaim the gospel, he protects uh, the priesthood and holy, and uh, those born under this influence will have greatness of soul and energy and be dedicated entirely to God or the divine. So, whatever the case may be, this Shem Angel is useful for against slander and any kind of spiritual elevation, um, I would say. And, of course, this is all by trial of experiment. I received more messages last night from people that are having really powerful experiences with these angels. I love hearing this. Try it out. See what you think. Experiment. Um, but that is ha ha hell. That is Shem Angel 41, uh, governs 20 to 25 degrees of Libra. So anyways, that's just a quick video on this Shem Angel. And on YouTube, um, on Facebook, and on the community section of my YouTube channel, I have all of these details of the angel. Um, also on YouTube... I'm going to pin a comment on YouTube, a pin comment, should be the pin comment, has my Patreon, <laughs> in case anybody wants to subscribe, you know, support my channel, and you get these extra videos for the subscription, but beneath that in my pin comment, um, if you scroll down in my pin comment, it's going to have all the details of this angel, the psalm verse, all these sources, links to PDFs of the source material, all of this is going to be found as you scroll down in my pinned comment. So that is Shem Angel 41. Ha ha hell. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see y'all in the next video. Have a great day, y'all.